All right, guys, welcome back to another Scary Saturdays video. Today, we are reacting to creepy TikToks that you should not watch before you sleep. Leave a like and leave a comment if you want more Scary Saturdays in the future. But let's go ahead and get started. So it says, I live in what seems like a normal neighborhood, but in the middle of my neighborhood is an old barn and motel. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe I shouldn't have watched this video, Oh man, there's an old man who lives in the little shack besides the main house. My neighbors say that they can hear screams and strange noises coming out at night. There have been multiple kidnappings in the neighborhood. No one has ever been inside the barn before, but if this goes viral, I swear I will go inside. No, you better not. You better not go inside. What are you doing? Yo, this is not a joke. Okay, so, so this kid is going with his friends you think you're cool just because you're gonna go explore like a haunted oh my gosh i'm so scared okay guys oh my god <laughs> yo every little sound is freaking me out right now okay now i'm regretting watching this video maybe i shouldn't have watched this tiktok yo why would you trespass in someone else's house just watch there's this old man just living there with a knife or something Get out. Come here, come here. They said they hear something? Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, what the heck is that? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, what the heck? That was literally a person. Wait, hold on. Oh my. Oh my god. Go, go. Yo, in that situation, I don't even know what I would do. If you sit in, on an old chair in an empty room, you are likely to get possessed. A 13-year-old was struck by lightning at 1313 on 13th of August. In 1977, we received a radio signal that lasted 72... Okay, that was... I don't know what I just read, but... What is... What? What was that? What was that? The Mandela effect, part one. Did you, know Did you guys see what was at the door? It was like some figure and the dog could see it. Story Warning, time. disturbing in images? In my town, an above ground cemetery got built and we've never had one. So on my way to soccer practice, me and my friends were like, let's go check it out. Why? Above why? Cemetery, okay, I, I, like I don't understand. Like, why would people go to a cemetery by choice like sure you can go you know visit your loved ones at a cemetery and stuff like that you know that that's in goodwill but then why would you go to a cemetery just to like explore i like i know i make scary content and stuff like that but i would never willingly just go to a cemetery just for content i would never do that but let's go ahead and uh, keep listening to her story and like while we were walking around we were about to leave and my friend's like it's mouse and like we didn't think anything well of it. yeah there's dead people underground and she's like i think there's blood coming out of one we go to get a closer look and it's like fresh blood okay and what the tombstone oh, was like gosh. someone who died from 2006. oh oh my god we think someone got murdered and they try to cover it up by putting them in a grave from someone who died a while ago because it's like least expected my dad is friends with a lot of policemen, so I'm gonna tell him and then Maybe you should have told him before so you made tuned. this TikTok? I don't know why she made this TikTok first before she told her parents, but like guys, I really think it's a bad idea that I'm making this video right now. It's almost 10 p.m. I'm alone in this house. It's completely dark in my house, and like I'm recording this all alone, so I I've, I'm kind of scared now after watching this TikTok. So please, if you guys are about to sleep, don't watch this video. Look by the door. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What's gonna, what's gonna show up by the door? I don't like this. Wait, what the heck was that? You guys see by the door? It's like there, there's like some shadow moving. Wait, oh wait, that was a window. Hold on, hold on a second, guys. There was something at the window behind him. Look. Oh my gosh. Something or someone was looking at this person make a TikTok. That is actually so scary. What? Oh my gosh. I'm like paranoid now. I'm so scared. Okay, so what is this one going to have? 
I'm scared. Oh. 35 million people living right now will be dead in the next 12 months. 600 people die in a year from falling off their bed. Huh? Okay, it better be a bunk bed because that would be really embarrassing if you fall off your bed and die. There's a 45% chance that someone is looking for you. No. The ocean is a graveyard. I mean, if you think about it, you know, it's a graveyard for the fish. Humans have been burying the dead for thousands of years. That means... There is a 100% chance that there is a dead body under your... Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that? Like, I don't even want to, like, live alone now because of that. In 2013, at some point in your life, you will see... Okay, this is going way too fast. In 2013, there is a man who made dolls out of dead girls. Huh? At some point in your life, you will see a man dressed in black in your dreams. Uh, one out of 20 people are mentally insane. Okay. Some prison food has poison on it. Good thing I'll never go to prison, but... 6,300 people die in an hour and you could be next? Why would you tell me that? My brother gave me his old iPhone. He told me to keep it off unless something happens. It changed my whole life. Oh no, there's about to be a jump scare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared now. Like, I don't want, I don't like watching these TikToks. I'm not even gonna read this because, oh my gosh. It's about some, some serial killer and like tasting the kids or something. I don't like, I don't know. Oh no, that doll's gonna move, isn't it? Don't scare me like this. Oh no, the sounds. Why are the sounds so weird? Ah, uh, can we move to the next? That doll's head moved. That has to be fake. Most important rules for using a Ouija board? Never ask the board when you're going to die. Never play alone. Oh no, I've played alone before. I've broken that one rule before. Never, do not forget to say goodbye. I've forgotten to say goodbye and I've played alone. I, I'm just bringing bad luck to myself, guys. The Warren's Ghost Stories, the Annabelle Part Annabelle 1. Doll, a large Raggedy Ann doll came to the Warren's attention when a nursing student began having problems with the doll her mother gave to her as a gift in 1970. Oh no, I've heard of Annabelle she before, but I've never bed, heard of- Within days, she began to notice that the doll would change positions and move around. This was just the beginning. What the heck? This is basically like Chucky. I'm not like going to too much depth on Annabelle since we already covered this pretty extensively in another video. I'll go ahead and link that here and in oh. the description below. Okay, he's but not going to tell us the entire story, which is good. Annabelle I don't want to hear it right now, okay? To strangle a friend of the nurse. Huh? Through a psychic medium, the nurse and her friends were told that the spirit of Annabelle Higgins, a little girl that used to live in the property, wanted to inhabit the doll so she could stay and be loved. What? That is so weird. So she basically when died. Became oh involved, no. They stated oh that no, this is going to continue. Human presence using the doll to eventually possess a human host. The Warrens took the doll home, but the activity didn't stop. Yo, throw Annabelle that doll into, into the garbage can in right now. It seemingly struck out at both a young priest and a young couple by causing vehicular accidents after each mocked the doll. The Annabelle doll is now famously locked away inside a protective case with a sign affixed to it that reads- Oh my gosh, why didn't they just burn it? Not open. Annabelle has been featured in both The Conjuring and Annabelle. Someone's definitely going to go and break that doll out, guys, because do people own man syndrome? I don't know, guys. If you guys want me to read those Wikipedia pages, let me know in the comments. There are over 200 corpses on Mount Everest and are used as waypoints for climbers. That's so creepy. You are more likely to find a dead body under your bed more than in your garbage. What? No, not really, because, you know, I live alone and there shouldn't be a body underneath my bed. Dogs like squeaky toys because they remind them of small animals being killed. That's so dark. What? The Japanese hornet can dissolve your skin. Supermarket apples can be a year old. I mean, that's not too bad. Oh, no. What are, what are they looking at right now? Oh, is it moving? No, no, no. There's going to be a jump scare. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't like this. Oh, it's moving. What the heck? Did you know it is said a child born on Halloween nights have 
has has the gift of seeing and community communicating with deceased so they can like talk to ghosts and stuff if you see a spider on halloween night it could be the spirit of a loved one watching you it is said that if you put your clothes upside down and walk backwards on halloween night you will meet a witch okay these are these have Today to be we're fake to be talking about the mysterious disappearance of elisa lamb in 2013, a tourist named Elisa Lamb stayed at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. Little did she know, this is the last place she would ever be found alive. Oh no. It was rumored that she was playing the elevator game. So in the elevator, you're supposed to press a bunch of numbers in a certain sequence, and the objective is to end up in a parallel universe or an alternate reality. Nah, there's, there's no way that this is real. Why would you ever attempt that? Elevator, acting super weird. She looked like she was in a state of psychosis. The weirdest part is that the elevator doors didn't close until she walked out. What? You know how they close automatically? Well, they didn't. She was pressing all the buttons and it looked like something was after her until she left the doors. Huh? She went missing for a while. No one knew where she was. And then people started complaining about the water quality, which is when they discovered her dead body in the water tanks. Oh my to this gosh. Day, nobody knows how she ended up there. Yo, I don't want to watch these creepy TikToks anymore. Maybe it was- Guys, it was a mistake to watch these TikToks. Ancient legends say a birthmark is where you got killed in your previous life. Okay, good thing I don't have a birthmark anywhere. Whew. A girl got lost in the highway and they say she still hic hitchhikes the highway. Oh man, I really don't want to watch this video anymore. Let's just make it past this video and I don't know if I want to ever react to more creepy tiktoks in the future <laughs> but if you guys want more let me know but what is about to happen oh my gosh the squeakiness of the door just freaks me out oh of course another doll tiktok nah 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 what okay this has to be staged there's no way that this is real i'm never buying a doll guys more important okay for for ouija boards do not play in a zoo All right, so we've got more Ouija board rules. Do not play in a cemetery. Okay, I've never done that and I never will. Do not use a Ouija board in your home. Well, guys, I guess I'm done for. I've used the Ouija board in my home before, so... Okay, so... Have you ever heard someone call your name? But then you look and no one's there. Yep, that's happened before. What if that's your family calling out to you, attempting to wake you up from, from your coma? Nah, nah, there's no way. I'm alive. I'm pretty sure I'm 100% alive. Here are some creepy facts. The average person will walk by a murderer at least 36 times in their life. I mean, if you think about it, you know, you might have friends growing up and they might become a murderer one day. I mean, I hope not, but like, you know, I'm, I'm sure that counts as well, you know? Most of the serial killers are born in November. Phew, I was born one month later, December, baby. Let me know in the comment section down below which month you guys were born, like when your birthday is down below. I think that making this video was a really bad idea because now I don't even know if I can fall asleep. It's almost 10 p.m., guys, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video right now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys wanna see more TikTok, creepy TikTok reactions in the future, <laughs> leave a like right now, guys. I don't know if I want to, but if you guys do enjoy it, I might have to, I don't know. But these were actually really creepy. I went into this thinking that, you know, how are TikToks gonna scare me? But those facts and like story time ones, oh my goodness they're they get like they they gave me chills down my spine so anyways hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video peace